Will I ever learn to properly? We're recording. Hey guys, what questions do you have for me? Comment down below. Oh wait, you can't talk to me. First I'm going in with the I don't stinking know and I don't actually care. Just talk. And no. It's I think it's Domino's telling me they miss me. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> That's the intro. That's the intro. <laughs> been a hot minute today I have Lizzie hi. one of my best friends from college but like I feel like it's forever even though it's not forever right. um Alicia's also here she was my college roommate and this now we're my best friends we're in her bedroom right now. <laughs> we actually just cleaned it so we'd had a clean backdrop um it wasn't even that dirty just made her bed um but she's in the shower right now so she'll be like joining us maybe later um we're just going to get ready with me and have some just like normal chat i would say girl chat but like i guess that's like girl chat what we do but we just talk about the most randomest things sometimes or we make fun of me so that's what we're gonna do well today. Alicia just texted me and said i need to know when i can come in your last dress okay so <laughs> i'm gonna pause it sorry about that also i had technical difficulties with my camera so now we're using lizzie's cameras to the rescue um, surprise level zero. <laughs> not really, I'm not surprised at all. Will I ever learn to properly, oh, properly organize <laughs> my makeup? No. no. Also, I did the ship. I did the ship. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I tried the shampoo last night when I took a shower and... No. It's, I think it's Domino's telling me they miss me. Sometimes okay. Domino's, like the app will like message me and say like they miss me. I don't know. Because usually you so <laughs> Domino's all the time. Shampoo, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. I still, all day today, I still feel like my hair is like greasy, even though I just showered. So I Do don't my really dry shampoo? understand. I'm going to have to use it, yeah. Okay. Um, that my hair, my scalp is very, very oily. Okay. So every time I sh use shampoo. Yes. That happens. So comment down below if you have help for me. Thin, fine, <laughs> ugly hair. Help. Same. Well, mine's thick, but it just also gets greasy very easily, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I could be doing just everything wrong, like in life. Um, do you want to say what we're doing tonight? Yeah. So what we're doing is we're going to go have food and drinks and laughter. Food, drinks, and laughter for one of our good friend's birthdays. That's what she described tonight's endeavor as <laughs> we have the holy ghost <laughs> exposed i love this good for you yes get in there yes lizzie what i was saying was before this rude thing happened to me wait what foundation are you using um I'm this intrigued. oh i use the tarte double duty um beauty face tape in the shade. <laughs> it's the light neutral, which when I'm <laughs> starts touching vocal cords and I'm no longer a dog. Uh, <laughs> when it's you know not winter, I don't wear like meaning summer and it's warmer. I don't wear a lot of foundations, but I just don't see the need to getting like a can darker I like, color because I just use bronzer and it is like fine usually for me. I'm gonna just try it on my hands. Yeah, okay. sure. You can touch it. I actually really like this um, foundation. It a feels lot. really nice. It's not like it doesn't ever feel like heavy. Like it's yeah. It feels really nice. It's like a medium coverage. Fun, fun. I am using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. 
Okay, sounds like a really sketchy ride at a carnival. I need to wet my beauty sponge though. Like that's like a thing. I'm gonna use, I don't use this because this is my fave. What is it? The Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. This and the Too Faced Chocolate, this one, this palette, my favorites. Well, that's all of my palettes at home. Good, was not ready for today. Wasn't prepared for this. You seemed prepared. I know, like, because I really thought I was, like, everything else in life. And then come to find out, I mean, I wasn't. Nothing is ever what you plan it to be, which is why I don't plan things anymore. Oh. You just kind of go for it. Just go for things, I guess. A little improv life. What am I wearing? It's kind of, I don't know, whatever you packed, I guess. Why did I pack? Oh, my green crop top. Did you say crop top? I didn't hear crop top. What did I hear? I don't- What did I hear? <laughs> what did I say? I don't know, you probably did. I just- Yeah. Kind of do what my heart tells me. Sometimes it tells me to go to bed. I listen. And my heart recently has been telling me to watch New Girl nonstop. New Girl? I just love it. New Girl is my 1000% favorite thing ever created by mankind ever. I know that was a lot of words to say that, but I just needed to express yeah. how important it truly is to me because New Girl changed my life. If you haven't watched New Girl, go watch New Girl. Mm -hmm. Period. I'm on season what? I think it's four. Oh, it's so episode. I'm on the season finale, I realized today when I tried to tell you what episode oh, I was really? on. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm on the season oh. finale. Good. So, I won't say what's going on because I don't want to, like, spoil it. But, like... New Girl is the best. I'm about it right now. It honestly, like when you know about it, it's not underrated, but for the people who like don't know what New Girl is. Well, I never knew what it was until you told me. I know, because. You were I, like, have you, you seen the show? And I was like, Because no. you reminded me of like something from it. It was one of the dating episode, and that's all we'll say. The <laughs> online dating episode, and that's where we'll leave that at. Right. I'm also making a mess of Alicia's room. I'm so right. sorry, Alicia. What's that? This, oh, I don't even know. Is it the Clinic one? It's, um, yeah. I, is, is it true? Or is it like? Um, yes. I like the Laura, Laura Mercier one, but I haven't bought it in forever because I'm just trying to use what's in my collection right now. Right. So I recently moved back in with my parents, so that's a story for another time. And um, I'm just trying, I realized in that move just how much product I have. So I just took everything that currently matched me and put it in my bedroom and everything else is in storage right now, just waiting for me to finish what is, yeah, just what is. Right. Just finish. I had to finish those because well, there's so many new things I want to buy that is like coming out mm -hmm. and I just like won't let myself. You gotta like get rid of everything before like Christmas and like the holidays. Right. So yeah, I'm just trying to finish all my things. So that's why I have this like super beat up. Milani face powder. It was pressed, now it's broken. <coughs> oh, I wonder what you're like using because I'm so intrigued by all of it. This is my Too Faced chocolate. Um, it's like a longer matte browser. Browser? Browser? <laughs> I'm thinking of Bowser because of the Matthew smell. I also have the Too Faced bronzer. Twins. Did you smell like chocolate? Yeah. Mm. Oh, my eyeshadow came out not the worst. Yeah. We're not being able to see it. You know what my favorite thing to do lately is? No. Well, duh. Am I tired today? You can't tell. <laughs> but also, is to use bronzer as eyeshadow. And then I put highlighter just right, right. right there. Ooh, baby. Nice and easy, right? It's just so simple. It's like, like my go-to everyday look. Like, not that I wear makeup every day, but the makeup that I do wear every day. Mm -hmm. That's the money, honey. Okay, so I need that for my bronzer, and then I take my favorite palette of all time, and I tell everyone about this all the time. It's contour palette. It's the Hannah Mal Maloche. I think I'm assuming oh, that's how you say her name. Fancy. Um, it's a like tart palette. Looks like this. Oh, that's very bright. I apologize. And then on the inside, it. Oh, there's this. Oh, there's hair in it. That's just life. <laughs> um, <laughs> If you know, you know. This um, like contour for like my cheeks and everything is like perfect because it's not too much, but it's like just enough. Ooh. And then I use I mix these two usually for blushes, and then this right here. Which one is this? The to go maybe? Nope. Starlight, definitely starlight. 
this one is like so bright you will see it but like like some like if you use too much of it everyone's like oh are, are you an alien like it's oh. like so but i like love it love that this one's like a little too dark for me but i've been like mixing these two lately yeah it's so pretty <coughs> So today's a good day. What did we do today? Um, we well, danced. I woke up. It. Okay, I'm <laughs> starting that early. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Starbucks. <laughs> then I went to the studio. What's your Starbucks order? Uh, right now it's the pumpkin cream cold brew, but I shouldn't do that because I try my best to be dairy free or dairy sensitive, but it's just so good you like can't not. Yeah. But usually Alicia got me on getting just like That's a vanilla iced vanilla coffee with coconut milk. And it's just like oh. chill. It's just a vibe. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. And then did you teach today? Um. Okay. So no. Oh. Because. Um. I let Alicia teach the first like two classes because those are like her ch her children. And I was like, because Hannah had asked me. Hannah's my cousin. She also works with. And what is it that you do? I feel like we should say. Oh. <laughs> Since we have which said. hat? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, which hat, Lizzie? Um, I mean, I guess my real job is being a dance teacher because that's the one I care the most about, I guess. <laughs> is that true? I care too much about all of my jobs. I was like, you care about all of your jobs. I know, I really do. It's just the one that you went to today. Um, I don't usually teach on Saturday mornings because I teach Monday through Thursday and just a lot to do all that. It's a lot of brain power and love to give to the children. So... Um, we usually let other people teach on Saturday mornings, but my cousin Hannah was away this weekend, has like a little birthday present with her boyfriend, so. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so she asked if Alicia or I could cover, and I said yes. And then I figured Alicia and I would just figure it out when we got there, and we did. That's exactly what happened. I love that. Okay, Marissa, real talk. Yeah, real talk. That's what this is about. Girl talk, real talk. Okay, here it is. All right, tell me about it. Do you always do your makeup first, or do you ever do your hair first? I feel like default, I always do my makeup first. And the reason I feel like this is because usually my hair is wet because I just showered also. I agree. Who saw that caught? I, I caught that. Um, so usually what I do is I put it up and I let it dry in a bun, in a scrunchie. So it's not like, because you're not, to, you, did you know you're technically not supposed to do that? Use a towel or put it up? You put it up like in an elastic or yeah. a scrunchie while it dries like well also you're supposed like i so i have a like hair wrap thing that i use but it's not a towel material it's like a cotton material so it's like a mm -hmm. cotton t-shirt yes um, i've heard about because that because it's not as damaging to your hair and yeah. i love it i honestly i literally got it from walmart right. and it has like a little i look r ridiculous when i wear it but it has a little like button right here and then you like tie your hair up and whatever yeah i don't know how it goes if you have like longer thicker hair but i have no hair so like it doesn't yeah it's fine for me so, like, I technically learned that in high school because I didn't get my cosmetology license to graduate high school because I went to a trade school. So, I, like, knew that, but then, like, I just still do it. It's like, you know, like, when you're not supposed to do something, but you're, like... But it's just the easy you're, option like, at the time this I feel. is just my life and this is where I'm at. Right. So, I'm trying to be better about it, but, like, so I, like, reverted... Reverted? No. Yep. Is that the word? No. I don't know what the next word is, so I can't tell you that. Reverted to scrunchies? No. That's wrong. Alicia would know, but... Alicia! <laughs> come Can here. You come here for five seconds. I'm just saying something wrong, and I need you to tell me how to say it. I re... I feel... Maybe it is reverted. It is. Okay. <laughs> so I wasn't that... So I wasn't wrong. It sounds incorrect. Yeah, it it's does, not. though. Maybe it's just because it's me and everything sounds wrong. Come You're vlogging nude. I like your jeans. Thank you. They're cute. cute jeans. <laughs> <laughs> you know what about you do you always do your makeup first or your hair first me or alicia anyone okay. alicia does her makeup first do you always do it first mm, no what about if Often your hair is enough. wet yeah because i just um i feel like i feel like if my hair is wet i do my makeup first but if my hair is dry i do my hair first Sometimes I do my hair just because if I curl it, I like it to cool. And while it's cooling, I'll do my makeup. Mm -hmm. I always, I've I always put my mascara on last. 
yeah like the last thing i do i actually keep my mascara in my car to be honest with you yeah because even if i'm going somewhere last minute i think if i just pop on mascara i just You'll feel like a little bit better that much better about myself can we talk about how hard it is to get dressed to go out in fall yeah let's do it especially in massachusetts like in new england right because it's like you're gonna sweat during the day like it was warm today it was 70 it was, but the sun was out yeah so it was like i was sweating and i wore this sweatshirt and i have only a bra on underneath but like so i was like sweating today and then at night it's like cold like you know it's gonna get like really cold what's your go-to fall outfit um it depends today yeah it is going to be literally leggings and like a long oversized sweater that's literally a turtleneck, but it has like slits on the side, so oh, that's fun. But it's a little better. And my favorite new boots that I got that I literally am just fully obsessed with. Are they ankle booties or are they like high boots? Do you know what I mean by that question? Um, like, like up, up, like over the knee? No. Oh. They're like, where like a combat boot would be. Okay, I see you. But they're elevated. You know what I mean? Yeah. So all last year, I never wanted to wear my really, really, really high boots. Like, and by that, I meant like my thigh highs and the ones that went over my knee, and I don't know why. But I always just wore my ankle booties. What are you wearing today? The ones that go over my knee, because I'm like, I like refound them in my closet almost. It was like yeah. I went shopping in my closet, and I was like, oh, I forgot I have these. Don't you love when that happens? Yeah, it's actually But also, the you're like, I probably have a problem. I should figure that out. Right. Or, like, I have five different beige boots, and I'm like, do I really need five different beige boots right now? Probably not. Pardon my reach. So, today, <laughs> Lizzie woke up and taught. I went to the studio to dance with Lizzie after her classes because we're working on a... Not a secret project, but like, it's kind of a secret. People know I'm doing it, they just don't know what it's for. Excuse my phone, I'm so sorry about that. And yeah, so we worked on that, and then we went and we got lunch together. Me, Alicia, and Lizzie we went to Not Your Average Joe's near their restaurant, near their restaurant, near their studio that they work at. That was really good. And then, what did we do? Then we came to Alicia's apartment where we are now. We're just getting ready to go out. It'll be fun. Go to Patriot's place. I don't really think there's like a game plan to what we're doing. Um, I think it's just one of those things where like when we get there, we're going to figure it out. But I'm really excited. It's going to be me. So if you can hear in the bathroom. It's going to be me, Lizzie, Alicia, Danny, the birthday girl, and our friend Derek, who we also dance with. So... That'll be fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna straighten my hair just because I don't straighten my hair a lot. Should I straighten my hair or should I curl it? Straighten it. Yeah, I don't straighten it a lot. I'm so. only curling mine because my I know mine's not gonna say stay straight today, so I'm just gonna give it like a wave and yeah, curl all the day. <gasps> it's like you knew. That's like I knew. That's weird. Because if I don't say call it a day, all every day. Time. So you know what we still haven't done yet? What? We haven't done any fall activities. Um, I agree with that, and apple picking season is like over. It's done. So we missed that one again. But I don't really know what else to say about that part. We need to go pumpkin picking to like make up for yeah, it. Yeah, we were gonna go today. That was gonna be the original plan for today. Oh, I forgot that was the original plan. Right, but then the place we wanted to go to got sold out like Six within minutes. a day. Like it's last just Monday such a, it got sold out. It's just such a weird world. Weird world world. I'm sorry. Because I live in it. But it's such a weird world where you have to that's a lot of W's. Where you have to like make an appointment to go get a pumpkin. Right. Like it's just wild. To I me. also well, well at this place they also do like a corn maze too, so I feel like it's like all of that. Oh, it was and like all of that. Also, I think I was on the planning committee, so I have no idea. Well, no, like th that is very much so a thing, but I think this place, so from what I've heard of it, yep. I think they do this like every year to like ration out the pumpkins. Oh. Because it's like a tourist attraction basically. I see. Which is good for them. Marissa, what are you wearing? 
that I am wearing this. No, I have um, jeans, a green tank top that's like a crop top. It's from Wild Fable from Target. Raindrop, crop top. <laughs> and I have my. Don't look at me like that. Where, where do we go? Abercrombie and Fitch? Abercrombie? It's, it's, it's called Abercrombie. We're in I'm just hard. not even in this. I just keep. Can you come over here? Can you just come be in it? Can you just introduce yourself real quick? This is Alicia. Lovely. No. These are the legs of the girl I was talking about earlier. Okay, well, this is Alicia. My friend. You can see her. I can't see anything because of that light. Yeah, we see. Oh, you're in it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I have, and then I have that cardigan that me and Lizzie both bought of the same thing. It's my favorite Correct. cardigan in this whole wide world. I know, I actually have to go get any other colors because I actually really, really, really like it. I want it in like a burnt orange as if I don't have enough things like that. We also bought bodysuits that were like super comfy from there. Okay, those. You have to talk about the sweating suits because you're in love. I am so obsessed. I'm sorry that this cord is so ugly looking right now. Um, we have coffee cup this way just a little. So Why? You can kind of be in it. Okay, Abercrombie. I want you to link them below. Okay, I will. I will. Okay, just for you. Um, because. They are, I don't even know what the material is. I wish, wait, do you didn't Wait, I have it. Do. I want to yeah, read what like, the material oh, is. No, not the, not the, um, bodysuit. I have the, the cardigan. cardigan. Okay. okay, anyways, I'm talking about my bodysuits. So, <laughs> for the 10th time, um, they literally are so soft and comfortable. You basically feel like you're wearing nothing. They're a like thong bodysuit, I literally wear them, I've worn them with leggings and with joggers. Mm -hmm. So incredibly comfortable. And they just, I'm usually a medium in most things. I ended up by getting a small, I think it's because it's all they had, so I'm just like, I'm gonna have to squeeze, which usually my torso is not, like, it doesn't fit into that. Can I get an extra large? I think so. I think so. We'll have to check. Um, but I ended up by getting a small. Not that you can see what my body looks like in this, but I guess I was nude before and now I'm in a turtleneck, so who cares? Um, but they, it totally just like sucks you in and holds you in. And even if you're wearing a bra with it, it doesn't like, you know, a lot of bodysuits, they like, like on your back, you can like see like if you're wearing a bra, but this held everything in so nice. You remember Michaela was literally like, are you even wearing a bra and you couldn't yeah, even see it? Because it. it's thick enough, but also like thin enough at the same yeah. time. I, I can't say. I got a lot of compliments wearing it. And we're two very different body types. Right. So that's like And awesome. we wore them at the same time. We did for my birthday. It was so much fun. Same outfit. That was fun. I love it. So I love did. every piece of it. They're the best, and I hope they still have them. There's a teal color, and there was a really, really nice burnt orange color that we both got. We both bought that one. Um, I think they also had, like, a light pink yeah, at the yeah, time. they had a different color, too. I and they, was. there was a white one over there, but I don't think it was a bodysuit. I think it was just, like, a tank, but it was the same material. So I'm intrigued to know if it's a certain material that's in, like, a collection or something. Ooh, yeah, because I would love to buy all that. I haven't looked that far into it because I've just been so obsessed with them. My life's just a hot mess today, like... I mean, it's very authentic Marissa, though, so this that's is true. Good. Do we know what we're doing today, though? Okay. Tonight? Yes. I was um, talking about that to them, but I wasn't sure, like, what we, we were doing. We are going to get dinner at um, Patriot Place. Am I allowed to say that we're in Massachusetts? Yeah, I already said that like okay. 5,000 times. Great. We're in Massachusetts. We're going to Foxborough to, like, Gillette Stadium. Which that usually people know that that's where the Patriots play. Don't leave any hate comments below. I don't have any words for anything revolving the Patriots right now. <laughs> um, hate comments. But we're going there and there's like 17 different options of what we could do for food. I think we're just going to go and see how everyone feels and then just go. There's also an adventure room there. Yeah, it's um, Five Wits. I don't know if we're going to do it, but I'm like intrigued by it. I mean, I'll go with you one day. Yes. I just, I like an escape room that I have to figure something out. They have that at, um... They have them all over the place. There's like a bunch in... Connecticut has it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, it's Five Woods, though, isn't it? No, it's literally an escape room. Oh. You know who loves escape rooms? What? Kyle. Really? Mm -hmm. We should do it one day. Okay. That's my best friend. My guy best friend. He doesn't like candy corn. They're fighting, about it. <laughs> They're fighting about it right now. <laughs> we don't get along. 
Um, only for that reason. I don't know if Kyle will ever want to be in the vlog, but that's okay. Oh, he will have no choice. Let's talk about how hard it is to date, date at this age. In, no, in this age in quarantine. Oh, okay. Like, we're not in quarantine, but like... Okay. When there's yeah. like, there's not really like an opportunity to do that because... Right. I don't know. Like, everyone has masks on. Like, it's very awkward. You have to stay away from people. Like, you can't go to a bar right. and meet someone. And as an awkward person in general, it's very hard. And then... <laughs> um, I also think it's really hard to date in this time just without coronavirus because, like, I'm a very hopeless romantic. I need to shut this and just blow her and Okay. Wow. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I got into my first relationship when I was 16. We're not going to, like, get super into it. Right? That's a different day. And I, back then, was, like, still a very hopeless romantic, but it was my first relationship. So I was, like, you know, like, head over heels, as one usually is in their first relationship. Yeah. First love. First yeah. love. Like, truly was my first love. Um, so much the best. But it just didn't work. Um, yeah, so, like, I just feel like even now, because I'm even older... Right. And it's just such, like, a different... Like, I mean, this is my first time dating. I was with my ex for ten years. So, literally I literally so long, so long, literally a decade, and it's so long at this age because that was like a third of your life, right? And he was my first boyfriend. He was I what I thought the love of my life, and yeah, it just it was crazy. Yeah. So now being recently single and being a lot older than sixteen years old. And just trying to talk to guys, like, dating apps are now a thing because of, like, 2020, you know, technology, all that. And it's just so interesting, like, the hookup culture that, like, my girlfriends would talk to me about while I was still with my ex. And me being like, it can't be that bad. No, girl, it's bad. It is bad. It's awkward. And being a plus-sized woman, trying to date is, and, like, with hookup culture is just, like, I've come across some very nasty people. Right. It's awful. I just, like, wouldn't wish this on anybody. I think it's just hard because so many people nowadays, like, are you just never know anyone's intentions. Yeah. And that goes for not only guys, but women, women as well. Women too, yeah. I, I don't trust them Plenty of girls. I know plenty of girls that are out here just playing games. And I just feel like I was in such a place to, like, move on with my life that now I'm starting over. And I'm just not about the hookup culture. Like, I'm just not. Like, I wish I could be that girl. Yeah. Not wish, but like I just, I don't know. Like I just, I'm just still a very hopeless romantic, and the hookup culture isn't built for hopeless romantics. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Right. But yeah, I just think it's hard to like date right now. What are you discovering, Lizzie? Are you like dating? Are you talking to anybody? Mm -hmm. Lizzie's also single. Alicia's also single too. Yeah, I single. well, I've been single since last June, and I mean, I've like talk to people but like not at all like seriously like I've been on like some like dates with people like whatever I've been on like dating apps but like I don't really like I don't really have like conversations on there I feel like I feel like I, I like to go on with the like intention and like hope that at least like sometimes you like just like find like friends out of it like mm -hmm. there have been people that I found that I've like added on Instagram and we're just like like friends we just like chat just because we like got along but um other than that yeah even before corona hit it was just like whatever but i also you know i'm like not different but i just have a different like outlook on that stuff i don't necessarily like think about it i guess all the time which is like kind of nice for me because it doesn't stress me out yeah you know so i'm just kind of like when it's time for something to happen It'll happen. It'll happen. I'm so content with that. And, and I just keep working on myself until then. You also, like, are manifesting, like, your future husband, like, mm -hmm. all the time, which is, I think is just awesome. Yeah. And I try to, like, take notes to also do that as well. I think manifesting, like, everything is really, really important. Right. I'm very big on that. And I think that, especially over the past few months, like, since when quarantine started, that was when I really started, like, getting into it because we had literally no time to do anything. So I'm like, my God, I'm trying to manifest something. Something good. And thus far, it's actually, like, it's worked really, really well. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm just doing things now. You look great. 
We're just gonna go with it. Yeah, it just, it works. And I think it's like, a big thing about manifesting too isn't just like, I'm gonna say this and think this so that I get this out of it. It's like when you are fully manifesting something, you actually have started to believe in yourself and like yeah. promise yourself that you know what you deserve and what you want. And Absolutely. once you come for it and you are believing in yourself, that is when those things start to happen. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's just how yeah. I live my life. And I'm trying to take a note out of your book and like start to manifest my things yeah. too. So we'll see where things go. Yeah. Oh, speak of the devil. He shall arrive. Oh, I'll answer. It's my best friend, Kyle. <laughs> Hello, you weirdo that hates candy corn. Hey, what up, man? <laughs> <laughs> questions about what Marissa's true life is like because I have all the answers.